This house was designed by the famous New Haven architect, uh, Henry Austin, who did many, many important buildings in New Haven, uh, including um, New Haven City Hall uh, and a number of buildings on, on Hill House Avenue. New, New Haven's most famous 19th century architect, but it was the home uh, for many years of, of the physiologist and uh, Yale professor Lafayette Benedict Mendel from 1900 to 1924. Uh, and he was uh, of German-Jewish background as well, and also a member of the Congregation Mishkan Israel. Um, but he was a pioneering scientist who uh, was known for his work uh, on nutrition. He was the first person to identify uh, vitamin A, vitamin B, lysine, tryptophan, amino acids. He's, he's basically uh, defined the parameters of modern nutrition science. This, this was basically the guy. Uh, he was one of the first tenured Jewish professors at Yale and the first uh, Jew to be named a Sterling professor at Yale, which is like the highest faculty uh, honor that, that they bestow upon uh, faculty. It's the most prestigious faculty appointment. Um, so he was from upstate uh, New York originally. He won a scholarship to Yale at age 15. Uh, graduated when he was uh, 19 with honors. I uh, began graduate work at the Sheffield Scientific School, which was part of Yale. Uh, did his PhD in two years. So he finished his PhD when he was uh, was 21. He did his PhD under a guy named Russell Henry Chittenden, who was also an extremely famous scientist. He's often referred to as the father of American biochemistry. Very. Uh, renowned biochemist. He lived just up the street here at 83 Trumbull, so they would go on walks together and stuff in the in the neighborhood. Uh, and uh, Mendel became a full professor in 1903. I think he was like 20, 24 or something like that. He had joint appointments in the Yale School of Medicine and at Sheffield. Wrote many, many pioneering papers. He helped to start the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment experiment station on Huntington Street. He also had a, an appointment there. Um, won all kinds of uh, awards for uh, his, his, uh, his work on, on vitamins and how lack of vitamin A in the diet could lead to certain kinds of problems. Uh, he also did a lot of work on uh, different kinds of poisons. Um, he did a lot of experiments on ricin. I, I'm sure he killed a lot of mice and rats and other things in his lab. Unfortunately, some of his work was um, used by uh, the Nazis and other unsavory gov governments for work on biological weapons. Uh, I'm not sure he would appreciate that aspect of his legacy, but he was uh, very renowned in his time. He won the gold medal of the American Institute of uh, Chemists for his outstanding contributions to chemistry in 1927. He was the first president of the American Institute of Nutrition. He was inducted into the National Academy of Sciences in 1913. Uh, and he was made Sterling Professor at Yale in 1921 when I think he was in his early 40s or something. Um, so uh, really renowned uh, scientist, but despite all these achievements, you know, there were still certain Yale clubs like the Graduate Club that, that he was not allowed to join because of his uh, heritage and certain clubs in New Haven, like the New Haven Lawn Club, that he would not be, be allowed to, uh, to join. So history of Jews at Yale is a very complicated one. We don't have time to go through all that. I would recommend the book by Dan, Dan Warren called Joining the Club, which explores uh, a lot of that very, very fascinating history. 1976, this building was actually declared a, a National Historic Landmark, both because it was designed by Henry Austin and for its connection with Mendel. For those of you who are historic preservation geeks, National Historic Landmark is like a very high level of designation on the National Register. There are fewer than 10 National Historic Landmarks in New Haven. 